If you want to make a GET request to any URL in PHP, you directly have file get contents method. And if you run it, it will give you the complete HTML of that page. It's simple, right? But for the web scraping purposes, we need something more powerful. So that's where we are going to work with Goot. So what is Goot? Now Goot is a library which is on GitHub. So you can use this library and this is basically just a simple PHP web scraper. Okay, so it will expose a lot of methods that you can use to create your own web scraper. How do we install Goot? Very simple, just use this command. Okay, so let me zoom this up for you. So composer require fabbot slash Goot. So just paste into your terminal and provided that you have composer installed, this should run fine and you will have composer taking care of installation of Goot. All right. Now, if you don't have Composer installed, of course, you can use Brew install Composer or Chocolatey install Composer. All right. So the first thing that we are going to you do is we are going to say that we need vendor slash autoload.php file. And now what we are going to use is we are going to use one of the classes provided by Good, which is the client class. Okay. So we have the client class available to use. Let's create a new object. So this is always the first step. You need to create a new object of the client class. Okay. Now let's give it a name. So I'm just calling it client. So now this client is the most important class. Okay. So this client class is like your browser. So using the client, you can call different methods. So for example, we are going to call the request method. Okay. So request and this request is going to take two parameters. Number one, what kind of request you want to send and number two, to which URL. So I'm going to take this same URL. There we go. And this will give us an instance of a crawler object. Now this crawler object is what we will be using to interact with the response. Okay. Now let's start with something very, very simple. So I'm simply going to take HTML and let's, let's just print it. Okay. So yes, we can see that the entire HTML is printed. Now the next step is instead of printing this simple HTML, we want to locate specific elements, right? So let's start with title. So title is usually the easiest and it is always available on every web page. Okay. Now we have two different methods. One is filter. Okay. There are a lot of, but let's focus on these two. So one is filter and the second is filter X path. Okay. So what is the difference? If you're using the filter method, you can use CSS selectors. If you are using filter X path, you can use X path. Okay. So let's start with X path and let's get that title element. So now this is going to give us the title element. Now from this element, what we can do is we can extract the text. Simple. So let's print it and let's run this code and verify that we are getting the title. So this is very simple, right? So we can use filter X path or if we are using the filter method, in that case, we'll have to use the CSS selector. So this is the only difference. Otherwise, this code is going to run the same. Now let's do something more useful. So let me take this URL. Okay. And let me open this in browser. Now, what I want to do is I want to loop through all these books. So inspect. So this looks like this is repeating for each book. So this is a class. So it will start with a dot. So now you can see that I have a selector which is actually surrounding all the books. And so what I can effectively do is I can search for this particular element and I can loop through that. Okay. And in the each loop iteration, I can look for specific information inside that element. All right. So let's come back to the code. So in the filter, I'm going to use this one. Okay. So the only change that I have done is in the filter, I have provided the new selector. But this time we want to call certain function on each item within this list. Okay. So as the name suggests, we are going to make use of each. In each, 
what we will get we will get a node and we are going to apply one function and i don't need this echo here now here inside this function what i can do is i can look for specific information okay so this is my node and again i can call the filter method what i can do is we can call node and again we can filter so let's look for a selector that gives us let's say book name now here you will see that this text is not complete actually now if i extract the text from this element it's not going to return all the values so what i'll do is i will still create a selector for this so this is going to be h3a right so this h3a is going to give me this element but the text inside this element is truncated so i'm going to extract the value from the title attribute okay so for the product let's uh, look for h3a okay inside h3 there is a and from that we are going to call the attr so that we can get the attribute and which attribute so here it is title attribute so let's store it in a variable so title is this let me make a copy and the price so let's see where the price and the price is in price color so this is a class dot price color all right and this time we don't want the attribute we want the text now if you like we can print so title and a dash or equals doesn't matter and then add the price and let's add a line break all right so now we should have all those books separated with equals right so there we go we have all the 20 results now let's see how we can write this to a file all right so before we actually start scraping let's uh, create a file so let's open a file so f open and let's call it data.csv and we want to open this in append mode so let's add a as the second argument okay there we go so we have this file here so here we are going to use this file now we can remove this echo and we can make use of f put csv all right so what do you need you need the file okay here is the file and what are the values that you want to write so we want to write the title and we want to write price let's run the code we have this data.csv ready if you're a regular subscriber to this channel and if you want me to cover other languages let me know in the comments so see you